lifts back and there we go all done Having had the hot tub for a few days now, um, I think it's about time that we fitted the lifter on it just because it is so difficult uh, if you're trying to do it yourself to, to take this off. So it's always a, a two man job to take it off, to put it back on. And it's a hassle that you don't need, especially if you're by yourself and you just want to nip out for half an hour to get in the tub. So I've got this lifter with the tub. The instructions are horrendous, which is basically the reason for doing this video, just so that you can see how it's done and how easy it is. This is the one that we're going to be installing today and it's, uh, it's called the Inspire Classic Lifter. Now, everyone that I've seen, they're all pretty generic uh, and in fact they look like they've got exactly the same parts and exactly the same mouldings but just different names. So as I say, this is the Inspire Classic Lifter. You've got two side brackets. These make up the lifter frame and then you've got all the things that you'll need to actually install it except obviously a screwdriver, drill, spanner, etc. And this baby is a towel hanger. I'll show you where that goes um, as we go through the installation. Let's get started. Nice icy morning to be fitting this. Just shows how good the insulation is because that's, uh, that's at about 40 degrees underneath there. So excellent. Anyway, that is where we're going to be fitting the first bracket on the rear corner there. Uh, let's get that measured out. Right, what we need to do now is mark 12 inches down from the top and nine inches in from the back. And that should then be this bottom hole where that measurement goes to. Then obviously that just fits on there. We screw it in and uh, it's as simple as that. To do that, you'll need a piece of wood, a felt tip and uh, a tape measure. And if we just lift this up, just move that back. So we said 12 inches from the top. So if we pop that there and we come down 12 inches and mark it. Okay, so that's going to be there. And then we do the same from the back. Get the piece of wood, pop it on the back. Nine inches in. And that's the so you just use the cross section of those and x marks the spot so that is where we're going to have this bottom hole on the like that that's measured out and we'll do the same on the other side right before i screw the arm on because obviously it's, it's going to be difficult to get to i'm just going to mark uh, on this hole because I'm not going to be able to see this measurement that I've already done once the arm's on. So, get it lined up and then just mark there. So the first hole's directly underneath. Before we screw this bracket on, uh, we need to put the beginning part of the lifter on. Right, get your first one of these pop your washer on top of it, pop your bolt through it, your bolt through there. As you can see, the plastic fits in just like that. And then that goes into, oops, sorry, before we do that, get your second one of these, pop that up. So as you can see, it's fully enclosed now, that pushes into the bottom hole, put your washer on the back, then get your nut, pop that on. It's a self-locking nut, so you are going to need a couple of spanners to be able to tighten it. Right, that's that complete. So we've got that bracket on and we've got that bracket on. And the moral of the story is don't do this on an icy morning. My fingers are absolutely freezing. I've just dropped the screws and everything all over the place. I'm not going to put the, uh, the cover on until we've finished. And the same with all the cover screws, all the screw covers, I'm not gonna use that. Right, let's get this screwed on. Right, so I've got the drill driver. 
I'm going to put it onto um, onto the screw setting, and I'm not going to have the torque too high because I don't want to um, I don't want the screw to to dethread itself in this. So so that should be fine. We get the the longer of the two screws. Get the bracket. Remember, this has got to be on the lower part. All right, pop that in there and I marked it. I bring my glasses down. All right, there's the mark that I put on it. So now if I have that there, and if we screw it in at that point, Right, the next thing to do is, I've got a level, so I just want to make sure it's okay. Right, so we level there, and I'll put the remainder of the screws in. In fact, the actual, um, the hot tub itself isn't level, so I'm going to just level it off the bottom. Because we don't want it level with the floor, we want it level on the tub. Right, that's fine. Put all the screws in. Right, okay, so that's it. Nice and sturdy, that's not going anywhere. We've got clearance at the back. Right, and the same on this side. Pop the first screw in. Get it to where the mark is. And that should be perfect. finish the others off once you've lined it up on the bottom. And that's the last one. Again, nice and sturdy. Perfect. Okay, we're on the home straight now. So the shorter part of the support arm will be going into the, uh, into the angle bracket there. We take the longer piece and slide it into the coupler. And the same with the other one. And once they're in, then we just slip those into the, sub, into the arms. Much easier if you've got two people doing it. Right, okay. Fold it down. What we want to do now is get this about half inch away from the, from the hinge. Right, that's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to secure it with one screw here so that we've got that length and then we'll secure it in the center. Right, for this, I'm going to use a, a four millimeter drill bit and the supplied self tappers. Switch it over to drill. Right. I'm going to do the bottom one. I'm just going to do one on each one. Flip it back to the screwdriver bit. Get the self tapper. And there we go, that's in. I'm gonna do the same on the other side now. Right, so that's the length sorted. Now we need to get this done. So we'll get the center bar and just uh, make sure it's in the middle. The main thing you want to take into account now is 
the holes where the self-tappers are going need to be facing the back. And the reason for that is, as the top comes over, you don't want it damaging the surface. So we're going to drill into there. I'm just going to use a piece of card to put underneath. And again, I'm just going to do the one hole just to secure it. Uh, I'm going to pull it out slightly. That's that. There's that, put the self-tapper in. Okay, that's that. We'll do the same on that end sample it and then do the rest. So before we do the rest of the screws, let's see it in action. That's back. Perfect. Right, let's get the rest of the screws done, uh, get it finished off with the screw caps and everything, and then it's all ready to use. Okay, this is the last screw going in, and this is where, this is where we use this. Leave the centre hole on whichever side it is where you want to use this, leave it free, push that over into place and then screw into there and you've got your towel or your robe hook then. That's that. Now to put the caps on. Okay, so these are the screw caps and you see you get two big ones like this where they go is just to cover that hole up there and then your screw caps just push over much better when it's warm in fact a tip from the top you might want to actually put these in some warm water if it is cold in fact i have put them in some warm water now just to make it easy oh, much easier much much easier you do want to make sure that they're on properly. You don't want them popping off and losing them and then seeing the screw heads. Last but not least, put the caps onto there. Finish that off nicely. All in all, that took about, um, probably took me about an hour to do. But on a nice day when it's a bit warmer, you're looking about half an hour uh, and it really makes all the difference. So I can't recommend it enough. 